anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe it's too much bomb. to be done on this mic that I ain't doing all right, so this is my what I like to call what the fuck pod because there's a lot of weird shit. I sold off Tarmogoyps and figured, eh, let's fuck around with it. So this deck looks a little weird. Play some odd cards like Kira. Yeah, I know. And uh, some interesting sideboard options. But before you call me crazy, this is my most recent 4-0 in a modern daily. You can see guys like Ship It Hala in it and whatever. So this deck actually does work. So let's get into a match. And this is just a one-on-one. -on -one. And this is a snap keep only because I felt like it. This is actually a horrible opening hand. If I'm playing against any Jun deck or any card with Inquisition, I am fucked so hard in the ass. I'll feel like the new white kid in prison. Uh, Grave Prowler. Interesting. Could be Dredgevine. Could be a lot of different things, but here I get to show you why Kira is so good. And before you go, bitch, hey, wait a second. Kira stops your combo. It doesn't. It actually protects your creatures from all spot removal, which there is a shitload of. And you can sacrifice it to you can sacrifice your creatures to pod still because it's part of the converted mana cost and not it's part of the casting cost and not part of the blah blah blah. So. I've got Static Caster, which is uh, amazing right now. Um, it blocks his Grave Crawlers, and if this is Dredge Vine, which may be, well, three Black Leaf Clips could be anything. Could be even be a boat. Arena, okay. So this is like a black red aggro modern deck. Um, I just drop Static Caster, pop his guy. Now, this is the perfect matchup because I have Kira in play. So he would need two removal spells just to deal with my any of my creatures. Uh, granted, it shuts down um, Restoration Angel, but that doesn't stop Restoration Angel from being a 3 4 flyer with like double hexproof. Um, I'm kind of drawing a little slow here, though, but I'm getting in for three in the air every turn. And every dude he plays... Okay, Verdant Catacombs. And Faith is Looting is a blatant, blatant... Hey, look at me! I'm playing, you know, Dredgevine, which is my favorite deck ever. I'm working on building a, a new Dredgevine deck. But, um... Let's see what he gets... If he gets black, okay. She doesn't want to take any extra damage, which is completely normal. Um, messenger. Someone heard about the Pillar of Flame bug, I guess. Or the creatures can no longer be exile bug. Um, not sure why they haven't fixed that. Hopefully they have after today's downtime. Alright, Birthing Pod. Fantastic. So I'm going to get in for another 3 with Kira. And now I have a couple of choices. I can keep my Static Caster in play and kill off some of his stuff. Because um, he is going to be getting some 1-1s in play. Or I can play Pod and get other stuff. So let's see. I'm going to... Oh, I hate that whole stupid. Are you paying for the amount? Yes, no, maybe. I'm gonna sacrifice my bird. Cause my bird doesn't. I don't need it anymore. I have all my mana in play, and I am going to grab myself. Mm, I do have a lot of fun two drops in this deck. A lot of really interesting two drops. I also went for every card that has persist and bought it. Um, they're all really cheap. So I got myself a wall of omens, which is good. It blocks uh, giraffes and messenger. And it draws me a card, which in this deck, drawing cards is good. Which is why I've actually considered playing Fathoms here. Raging Ravine. You don't say. Okay, so this is Junt. Uh, zombies. Um, yay. Oh, Inquisition. About eight turns too late. Um, 
he's gonna see that, get my wall of omens, I'll kill his guy. If I have to force him to play lands every turn, just so he can get back his 2-1, that's totally cool with me. Plus, worst comes to worst, I will pod, if I get to that point where I have to pod my uh, wall of omens into a kitchen things to gain back life so it doesn't have uh, haste, that's also cool. Well, just, it really doesn't matter what mana I grab, so I'll grab a uh, sulfur false. You know, grabbing red is always good, because it uh, always allows you to play Kiki, which is currently shut off thanks to Kira. Um, let me get rid of the wall and grab myself a Finx from the kitchen. <laughs> I guess you could say it's this deck has everything but the kitchen Finx. <laughs> oh, magic puns are hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, I apologize for that. Of course, I could have went for Exarch and done all that, but I really don't need to. He's on a two-turn clock. And I just see no reason why I would have to do anything. Also, interesting thing about uh, Kira and Static Caster, they combo. So let's say you do want to play Restoration Angel, right? Um, you can Static Caster your Kira, blanking it. And then, because that's the first time it's been targeted, it can now be targeted by a Restoration Angel. Which is nice. Alright, he attacked. I don't care. If he had Blood Artist, I would. His deck also needs Blasting Station. It's a very important card in the uh, Dredge deck. Alright, Resto. I got some options here. Um... I could get rid of my things, make it a 2-1, but I don't really need to. I can attack with the things and let him sack his messenger, do me out of the 2, but that kind of puts me into the Bud Gaskin's haste range, which also doesn't really matter, but, you know, it's not something I want to give him. I'll just keep, alright, first lightning bolt, second lightning bolt. In response, Resto, Scoop. Many people say Kira shuts down the combo. Not even close. So this for this matchup, I have very interesting sideboard options. I can go with Chalice of the Void, which I can name it like one and shut down all of his stuff. Zealous Conscripts is really not needed. Mind Sensor is kind of unimportant right now. Um, Loaming Shaman is a card I am in love with right now. If you use it, it it's, it's almost has the ability of being instant speed um, graveyard removal. Because, and you also get to choose the card, so it's kind of cool. Um, take out, I, I didn't see a Lully, so I'm going to put in um, Baneslayer, which just destroys decks that can't deal with it. Also, Kira plus um, Kira plus uh, Baneslayer is kind of beast mode. Obstinate and Bayloth just lets me draw. Uh, it lets me gain four life. Uh, even if he if he has Inquisition, if he doesn't, it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna start off with a bird. You always start off with the bird before the high arc because need be you can attack for one in the air with your bird. But it's dead. And he bolted himself in the process. That's what I love about this deck. The, this deck, it's like, you play a turn one bird, they bolt your bird, and they bolt themselves. And you always have a follow-up play. Oh no! Ah, I'm scared. Okay. There's one of my cool 2-drops. It's a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two with Persist, a card I like a lot, because it has Persist. Persist is good. So now I have 4-mana on the board. Pyroplasm would suck balls, but he doesn't play Pyroplasm. Pyrokinesis would suck, but he does not have Pyrokinesis, because that is illegal in this format. 
Um, he's got three men. I'm guessing another group. Okay, Phyrexian Arena. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine. He gets to draw two per turn. If you've noticed, my deck is sideboard is lacking enchantment and artifact removal, which is something I need to work on because the main deck was only Pride Mage only takes you so far. Um, okay, so now something happened and it won't let me undo anything. So I just took damage for no reason. Fantastic. Um, I don't know why it won't let me undo things, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to play this and take two damage. Uh, get out this dude. Draw a card. Ooh. And I get to play this guy. Granted, it makes my wall a... Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. I have mana floating thanks to a slight bug in Moda. Um... 2-2 two, two Persist is just so good. Just anything with Persist is good. Plus, I didn't have... I built this deck by selling four Tarmogoyfs, because they're selling for 65, but they're buying them for, like, 28. So, I didn't want to pay the, like, 20 bucks for Gwena Alondra. And I just don't see the need for a Linvala. Unless it's a mirror match, and if it's a mirror match, there's other ways to beat the mirror like combust but you know whatever um just a 2-2 persist guy is just so useful he pods into your kitchen things and kitchen things pods into your resto and whatever so i'm going to attack for four with a guy with persist with double triggers sadly i do not have uh a red source anywhere uh one fetching i probably should have fetched for Scalding Tarn, not Scalding Tarn, you can't, well that would be pretty cool, but uh, I would have, should have fetched for, uh, what's the red blue one? Steam Vents. Okay, so he's got a Raging Ravine, and a, if I was saying I would have just attacked with the Raging Ravine, that would have probably made a little more sense, but whatever. Um, now I got a lot of options end of turn. I can Exarch, I can Resto, but I'm going to start with Exarch, because I love the ability to tap down their lands. Um, so I tap down his Ravine, which gives him access to red, which is perfect. He now has to fetch, and hopefully he bolts himself. No, okay, he only takes one, but he still takes one, which is good. He's on a clock. And his only blocker is a uh, draft messenger, so. That gets tapped, that gets tapped, that's an abrupt decay. That's, yeah, there you go. Exarch is dead. Sadly. Ah, there you are, red mana. Let me get him for another four, quickly. Double trigger. I'm announcing all my triggers because Wizards of the Coast thinks that's cool. But it's not because the rules are retarded. Um, and he is basically dead. I have Resto in hand, Persist Dude on the board, two walls, double uh, High Arc. And now, by the way, is the time to buy Modern because this stuff is just so cheap. What well, wasn't cheap as fucking restos, those are expensive. The lands were all pretty cheap, and I even saw- Oh no! So in response, I now have to play Restoration Angel. Um, and grab myself a- Yeah, I'm just gonna flash that draw card. Most likely be a land, it's always a land. <laughs> it was a land, surprise! I think your Torp Warp's just a little too late, buddy. Um, I still don't know what the green in this deck is for, if it's not for Vengevine. If it's just for Abrupt Decay, that's stupid. Raging of Rain doesn't really make much sense. I'm just going to block here and block there. It doesn't really matter. The trick is staying above 10 damage, because 
you know, when those guys start getting haste, it, it could be an issue. I mean, not really, because he's dead. Have the game pretty much locked up, but... The question is, when we figure out I have the game locked up, the world may never know. God, I want to get Deathrite Shaman in this deck so badly, but every time I play it, it just never does what I want it to do. Ooh, Murder's Red Cap. Does absolutely nothing when he comes into play, thanks to Torp Orb. Pods, Natural Predator. Whatever, I'll just get him for five. Why he's not using the Raging Ravine, I don't know. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh shit, I can't play Murderous Oh, I can play Murderous for Cap next turn if I need to. Fetch for a mountain. And I won! Yay! And as you can see, it was drawn pretty dead there. But the cards I had in play were pretty much all I needed. Oh, there's Banslayer. Where's my Cannonist? Oh, there's Spellskite. Where were you like three hours ago? All my good cards are at the bottom. Loming Shaman! God, this card is so nuts. If you don't know about it, I would get it now. Because it's so fucking nuts. Good luck, and see you next time.